Hi, hello, and welcome to my spaceship, actually. We ran out of fuel, so it seems like we're going to be stuck on planet TikTok for a prolonged period of time, or at least until the next large asteroid hits. It'll be similar to the dinosaur wipe, except now when the nuke drops, no one will have wrinkles and instead look perfectly prepubescent. No matter what I do, I can't escape TikTok's body hacks or recommendations, which are complete scams, by the way. Brushing your teeth with plasma, bright pink, charcoal-infused, fluorite, fluorescent toothpaste won't make your teeth look any whiter, and wearing a corset for a week straight won't shape your body into anything other than a casket. Rubbing an ancient cream handcrafted by the wise snails of Indonesia and manufactured on top of Mount Everest into your decaying hair follicles won't actually make them regenerate. Aging happens, it's a normal thing, and I feel like a lot of people are surprised that's going to happen to them, so instead they push for often and commonly unhealthy biohacking. It's just human enhancements via DIYs, including the intake of unregulated supplements and whatever the hell this is supposed to be. When I think of the term biohacking, I picture a giant computer getting ready to deploy bombs over a nation, not donating blood to burn calories, which is ridiculous, by the way. Diet culture's been lurking around for a while now, slipping into the back of every 20-year-old's mind to install panic over normal human functions. If you put on your detective hat and start to look a little too hard, you'll notice that there's something off here, uh, besides for being told to go drown yourself whenever there's a sugar molecule in your mouth, and that's probably because they're industry plans. Now, I don't know for sure, but Isabel Lux has got to be an industry plan, because if not, this woman needs immense amounts of therapy. She perfectly embodies the Lululemon Scientologist pseudoscience performative mom in the worst way possible. POV, seeing girlies break out because of using self-tanner on their faces when they could be eating three carrots a day for the same result. Right, I'm sure that awesome biohack works. It's not like you have on nine layers of foundation and Vaseline, making it impossible to see the color of your actual skin. Also, this isn't true. It'd take a lot more than three carrots a day, uh, and you'd probably end up looking a lot more yellow than tan, but if Wow, well, what was your goal? Then munch away. You pay two million dollars a year to actually anti-age into your 18-year-old body and mind. I know that sounds crazy even to me, but that is the real story of 45-year-old Brian Johnson. Well, this is really awkward because he looks like he's 50, uh, and also. Michael Jackson. In some ways, his morning routine is one that we could all adopt. He wakes up at 5 a.m., he drinks his green juice, takes over 20 supplements, he works out. He's also on a strictly vegan diet and eats almost exactly 1,900 calories a day, and he has a very strict sleep schedule. Wow, you're right. That definitely sounds like a schedule that everyone should adopt. Wake up at 5 a.m., drink lettuce juice, do 20 different drugs that aren't FDA approved, and work out. That sounds extremely simple and accessible to the masses. Definitely not an out-of-touch recommendation coming from a place of wealth and privilege. The future of anti-aging skincare is in AI, and Ravella might have just cracked the code. If the name Sounds familiar. It's the same brand that literally saved my hair, saved my little bald patch with their drops, and I also use their eyebrow serum every single night. So Ravella just came out with their Fabricoin Essence, which was made in a biotech lab that screened over 5 million molecules in our faces to figure out which individual ones they could target in order to produce collagen in our own natural biopathways. The main issue I'm having with this is that she's pushing complete pseudoscience products as if they're medically acclaimed. For the hair serum that she mentioned, there's barely any evidence that the compound actually works and that it's not just another millennial placebo craze. The product isn't even FDA approved as a hair loss treatment, the reviews feel heavily monitored or bought it, and all the reviews come from the company itself. Even the clinical trial is done so poorly, probably on purpose. Purpose. They didn't have much variety documentation. They didn't take into consideration the previous product usage or have any placebo groups present. The way she explained the skin serum was so obnoxious. I know she was only doing it to catch the algorithm's attention, but it's just another skincare MLM. There won't be any mechanical microorganisms plunging into my pores to pluck out the natural musk and gunk that builds up in my face. I seriously wonder what she's going to do when she finds out about eyelash mites. She'll probably just... She'll probably just end up waxing them off with a unique extraterrestrial tape made by the Ulta Beauty aliens. I'm assuming she has them on speed dial. These people may be ill, but God, is their ability to waffle on about skincare impressive? I bet she could write a nine-page synopsis on the benefits of using hermit crab feces to exfoliate. If you look at the ingredients which they post themselves on their website, it's just loaded with unnecessary shit and filler components. One of the things on here is notorious for causing life-threatening allergic reactions like itchy, patchy scales, and it's been advised to not use it around infants. If there's any oral exposure can damage their nervous system, so uh, yeah, that's just something you're willing to slap on your face. I don't care how reflective and smoothly orange your skin is, promoting this product on TikTok talk is so stupid. Reasons why I don't trust you, I was just going to list it out in my notes app, but I feel like visuals are very important. Number one, if you take any kind of she glam or she in sponsorship, you're down to my eyes. Why are we supporting companies that use child slavery, that abuse people, that have absolutely no regulations, not to mention the chemicals in these products? No, thank you. Oh, right. The chemicals in those products. I bet they're really bad for you. That's why you use good products with good ingredients. A common theme with Isabel here is hypocrisy and not acknowledging her social status. People like this are an algorithm echo chamber who only think thoughts that were given to them by other people, other close-minded, wealthy people. Not everyone can afford ethically sourced clothing, especially when there's such a small percentage of it actually existing. If someone needs to shop at Shein for clothes because they can't afford it elsewhere, then they can, and people like you throwing them judgment isn't helping them exist any easier under capitalism. I seriously doubt that they're in support of the poor work conditions that Shein employees face. They just need products that fit into their price range. And if you're so against using Shein and anyone who supports them is done in your eyes, you'll be happy to know that that Tiger Global, one of Sheen's most prominent backers, also backs Spotify, Roblox, Airbnb, Facebook, Coinbase. So if I see you using any of those services, I expect you to drop to your knees and repent for your sins immediately because how dare you? Everyone knows by now, you take on the burdens associated with the companies that you buy from. I mean, why would you ever support a company that shares its finance pool with such a horrible, awful business? 
that iPhone battery that you're recording on, by the way, it was made by a small child slave in the UK who probably didn't live long enough to see its production. Diet culture and fashion culture feed into each other in so many different ways. And for people like Isabel here who will never exceed their social conditioning, it's honestly just sad. She's just spreading a spineless, inconceivable agenda when ethical consumption is not an option. It's non-existent. And also, I just think it's pretty sick and awesome that this is coming from someone who has designer luxury brands listed up on their blog's wish list. Okay, tangent over. Uh, the other reason she wouldn't trust you are if you stuff peppers or have an AirPods case. Here's what it's like to get a NAD infusion. I literally flew to San Francisco to visit my brother. We this has to be a form of government torture. I should have put on a tinfoil hat before watching this. Got these done. A nurse comes to your house and mixes up these vitamins, minerals, obviously the NAD inside of this IV bag itself. What is this woman's obsession with sticking things that aren't FDA approved into her body? One paper cut from her and we're going to enter into another pandemic. It's going to spill over into the city's water supply and we're going to have babies flying around with pterodactyl wings. A lot of people were wondering about the price, saying that this is ridiculous. I actually don't know. It's something I've been wanting to do for years and my brother gave it to me as a gift for Christmas and I'm so thankful. A gift for Christmas, right. Uh, and I got this. Pretty sick. They do taste like shit though. Uh, and turn my actual shit dark black like space like a void my shit is a void close tightly no what's the other one say push down push push huh. yeah no no not doing those all i have to say about this is if supplements bring you this much joy find a hobby start a journal Adopt a cat or don't adopt a cat because we'll probably feed it vegan terrigen crystals and kill it. Okay, next video I'm actually in desperate need of because I can't sleep at all. Um, so who knows? Maybe I'll get some helpful advice out of this. Let's talk about sleep hacking. You guys know I am obsessed with sleep, but not just getting sleep. I mean good quality sleep. Things I do every night that have made such a big difference for me. And no, this is not another sleep anti-aging video, although you guys do know that good sleep is incredibly anti-aging. I'm sorry. I'm getting distracted by the two different skin tones happening here. The makeup is so orange. Maybe she just overate on the carrots today. Also, I love the realistic nighttime routine of going to bed wearing a full face of makeup. Have dedicated pajamas and take them off within 30 minutes of waking up. Okay, you lost me. It seems like I'll actually never go to sleep ever, actually. Not least is melatonin and sleepy time tea. I'm telling you, if you take these things, especially if you take them together, you are gonna pass out. You can literally do surgery on me when I've done these two things together. So I don't know, I just get these two. These are just capsules from GNC. These are three milligrams. I take two of them, so six milligrams in total. And then these are 10 milligrams per serving. Oh, Okay, well, we found the root of the problem, not to my insomnia, but to her. This entire account is the product of melatonin poisoning. She's taking like triple the max recommended dosage. Moving on and on to more pressing matters, we have to remedy the crisis, which is aging. Uh, it's just not allowed. It's not ideal. You end up dying at the end of it. I don't understand how you guys aren't on board. So I found this anti-wrinkle straw and I posted it on here a couple months ago and it prevents you from pursing your lips. But I actually think I found one that works a little bit better. I feel like this really prevents you from any pursing at all. I'm obsessed. But if you guys want like the perfect gift for anyone or if you just want to prevent those lip wrinkles, here you go. Okay, so I was counting and just by recording that video alone, you purse your lips over 14 times. These people are delusional. Do you seriously think that using a straw is going to take off 10 years from your lifespan? I can't wait to drink this juice. Huh, perhaps it would be better with a... Put it down, put, put it down. down. Where is that coming from? Put it down. Do you want to age backwards by five to 10 years? 10 years? I, so I was seven? That couldn't have been good. I'm going to share with you my life-changing beauty hack so you don't have to spend all your hard-earned money on treatments and really expensive creams and lotions and potions. There is a way, if you are into anti-aging, to actually age backwards by at least five years. Okay, right, so I've been 12, which means I just discovered Crank That Frank, I tried to eat a Tide Pod and Logan Paul just got done an interesting trip in Japan. I'm not exactly sure if I want to go back there. So I turned 50 last month and I have no filters on this video and I'm not wearing any makeup as you can see. That's what 50 year old skin looks like guys. My hack, if you're interested, is that I haven't had an alcoholic drink for 22 years and 10 months. Okay, well me neither, so I'll go fuck myself. I'm extremely disappointed and let down once again. I thought that I'd be able to time travel after this, but apparently not. Life is good though, I want y'all to see. Okay, what's going on? Wild Saturday night over here, LED red and blue light therapy, red for anti-aging and blue for acne. Used it yesterday for the first time in a while and my skin was so clear today. Chi Machine boosts oxygen in the blood, loosens tight hips and spine, encourages lymphatic flow, so relaxing. Listening to positive affirmations, I wouldn't have it any other way. Yeah, I'm sure that'll bestow total mortality upon you. I'm also sure that it's not placebo. I, I mean, just look at it. Look at it. The obsession with placebo products is so strong, I could ball out my own sweat and market it as eye plumper and someone would still buy it. From using invisible tape to change your eye shape and eliminating your double chin by squeezing the fat back into your face, it just shows that people will do anything to fit into the TikTok enforced beauty standard.
You cannot tell me this is doing something. Like, zero alterations have been made. Let's talk about this little sum of edict. Did you know that after you've talked on the phone for 30 minutes, your red blood cells are starting to form little chains? This is how they're supposed to be. And after a 30 minute phone call, this is what they look like. Awesome, so like, what did you record this TikTok off of? I'm just curious. This company must have sponsored half of TikTok because it's everywhere. This one guy claims that I can purify water by restructuring it. Yo guys, this is one of my favorite things to have at home to be operating at optimal health. So there are a lot of problems in our society, as you know, as I talk about the impacts our health every single day. Those are things such as bad water quality, EMF. So what this thing does is inside of it, there are stones. There's precious stones, semi-precious stones. When you plug this in, it sends a frequency through these stones, which actually purifies the environment. And the frequencies it lets out, it actually disrupts EMF that you have from cell phones, wireless things, all that stuff, which actually causes problems with your mind. It also stresses you at a cellular level. But the coolest thing is if you put water next to it, it restructures it. The false advertisement's insane. It says on their website that Soma Vedic structures water and changes it into a mountain spring quality water. How is that possible? It's a Beyblade. If this was real, we wouldn't have water contamination. We wouldn't have people living in Uganda having to travel 30 minutes outside of their house to find safe, drinkable water. I mean, if I was a 35-year-old anti-vax pseudo-spiritualist, you could probably con my ass into buying one of these overpriced lamps too. Specifically a $980 overpriced lamp. But you know, if that's not on your price range, that's okay because we have amber for $2,420 or gold uh, for $5,600. Some of the reviews that Soma Medic has displayed up on their website were really eye-opening to me, uh, specifically these two from both Paul and Kathy. Kathy says, peaceful and healing energy field. I've noticed over the past few years that with the dramatic increase in 5G installations, both on towers and also satellites, that there are so many more chaotic energy fields everywhere. Even the ground is chaotic, especially where the cell towers have been modified. Kathy, how exactly is the ground chaotic? Are you experiencing seismic earthquakes inside of your home on a daily basis? Either way, it doesn't matter. Let's just see what Paul has to say. Oh, it's just the same thing. Not only is their product complete shit, but they don't even care enough to make their very obviously bought reviews vary in the slightest. I found this clear quartz at the beach, um, and then this Brea water filler was like $20 at Aldi, so I don't really understand the 5k price tag. And for the EMF aspect and how it's supposed to protect you against it, you know that the sun puts out EMF waves, right? You know, the big fat ass yellow exploding radiation star in the sky that keeps us alive that you can't escape? you're going to consume EMF. Moving on to the actual diet section of TikTok's diet culture, there's a lot of diets that come in through trends. Terrible foods that people think are healthy. 10, veggie burgers. 9, baked chips. 8, dried fruit. 7, flavored oatmeal. 6, rice cakes. 5, canned soup. 4, veggie chips. 3, green juice. 2, low-fat salad dressing. 1, granola. So, all of that was actually a lie. He didn't say one correct thing. I seriously pray and hope to an unknown figure above, an all-powerful figure, that no one watching this actually believes it because it's so damaging. It's gotten to a point where kids are making these videos to lose weight foods that make you skinnier grapefruit dark chocolate egg and sausage soup i eat these and i'm not skinny yet i can finally make my friends happy yay you can also get pimples if you don't drink enough water now i can make my family proud a big trend on the side of tiktok is trying out celebrity diets or doing omad which is one meal a day new slash not healthy <laughs> That's definitely not enough to sustain a human being and she even acknowledges it. She says that it did work, but she felt like she was going to faint. Making these silly relatable TikToks about how you only have 60 calories left for the day or how being fat is extremely unattractive or how beneficial the military diet was for you isn't helping. All you're doing is worsening yourself and putting a target on your back and probably contributing to a kid's future disorder. Like a sliced up banana, vanilla ice cream, and a can of tuna is what you want to promote. The infographic says that it's a fast and effective diet to lose 10 pounds in three days. It's a completely safe and healthy diet. No diet that advertises a 10 pound weight loss in three days is at all healthy. Hey, congratulations. One meal a day in less than a week down 23 pounds, that's extraordinary. So you guys know I lost 140 pounds eating one meal a day. And I just wanna say a little bit about like the weight loss trajectory. Losing 23 pounds in a week isn't healthy. I don't know why we're celebrating this. Can we stop doing that? It is insane that TikTok allows this. But the thing is, as you lose weight, your maintenance calories are lower. And you're forgetting to mention that your stomach will literally shrink uh, and you'll only be full off of two bites of food. So yeah, uh, your maintenance calories will be lower. But 23 pounds, that is great. Keep that momentum, just keep it and like grind. That's wonderful, congratulations. Yes, congratulations on losing weight on health. Yes, yes, yes. Today's video is actually sponsored by my Twitter, which is here uh, and here. Give it a follow, DM me, argue with me, I don't care. Okay, well not consuming Smirnoff makes you a time traveler, crystals prevent earthquakes, and using a straw will immediately end your life. Bye.